So what are the possible um, embassy questions during your J-1 visa interview? So in this video, I'm going to share to you the possible questions while you have your um, J-1 visa interview. So these are just possible lang po, okay? Uh, possible na lalabas at possible na hindi lalabas. However, in my situation, in this questions na nagather ko, um, tatlo or apat ang naitanong sa akin. Okay, so na trace ko po yung mga questions na to. So I, I wrote it down myself a day before my interview and nandito pa rin siya, buhay pa rin. Okay, so babasahin ko na lang the questions that I got. So first is what are you going to do in the US? So sasabihin mo kung anong gagawin mo dito, of course, yung pagtuturo, right? And why do you want to go to the US? Um, what are your qualifications? So, dito mo isasalaysay or sasabihin uh, kung ano yung mga achievements mo, like um, natapos mo, and kung may mga master's degree ka or units. And what are you currently doing? Like kung nag-aaral ka ba or nagtuturo ka ba? What university have you graduated from? What program are you applying to? Of course, it's a J-1 visa program or it's a J-1 program. And what are your plans after? So, itong katanungan is after your program. Yung uwi ka ba? Or ganun. And when are you gonna return? So, kailan matatapos yung program mo? So, everything, nandyan yan lahat sa DS-2019. So, I'm gonna um, discuss a little bit about what DS-2019 is. Um, where will you intend to stay? So, sa ang address? Or meron ding meron ding time na magtatanong sa'yo what specific address could be. So, sasabihin mo talaga, even the house number, the street, may address kompleto yan. Uh, what course are you going to teach? So, are you gonna teach English? Are you gonna teach math? And how long have you been teaching? So, this, this question is with regards to your teaching experience. How much will be your salary? Uh, naka-state po yan sa DS-2019 so yun lang din po yung sasabihin nyo are you aware of a 2 year extension? ito po talagang tinanong sa akin to if you're aware of a 2 year extension at the time na tinanong sa akin regarding this 2 year extension hindi ko po siya talaga um, naintindihan but dito na nagsisink in sa akin while I'm here in the US na this 2 year extension pala is you have to go back to the Philippines after the end of your program Okay, how many times did you hold a J-1 visa? Are you married? Do you have children? Do you have relatives in the U.S.? When is your birthday? Ito yung mga basic lang. How long have you been teaching children with special ed? Kapag po um, you are applying for, uh, you know, position for special ed teacher. So, uh, it might be natatanungin ka regarding yung experience mo kung ilang taon ka nagtuturo sa Pinas or sa atin. What's your degree in college? Kung ano yung natapos mo? When, when did you graduate and where? Have you read the pamphlet? And do you know the rights of teachers in the U.S.? Yeah, ito yan, ito yan. This is the pamphlet. And are you using a local agency? Kung nag-apply ka through agency? And what agency was that? How much is the total expenses that you paid? And when did you apply for the program? Like, anong taon? Anong petsa? It might as well complete date. How much was your placement fee? Kung magkano yung nabayaran? Who is going to pay for your expenses? Tell me about your housing. Kung saan ka titira dito? Or do you have any friends in the U.S.? And of course, lastly, what are your rights as an employee in the U.S.? So yan, like I said, know your rights. This pamphlet, makukuha yan sa CFO or sa Commission of the Philippine Overseas. And babasahin mo yan a day before yung tinatawag na PDOS or per departure. So lahat yung naka, nakastate doon ang lahat ng rights. And I remember sinulat ko, I guess on the first page, know your rights nandito yan. Uh, you have the right to be paid fairly, be free from discrimination, be free from sexual harassment, yung ganyan. And of course, yung sinabi ko about DS-2019. So DS-2019, is this is the legal paper na dadalhin mo. Um, ito talaga yung panghawakan mo aside from your passport and your visa ito yung hahanapin sa'yo this is 
this is a document na you are binded with. Nandito naka-state lahat kung kailan mag-start ang program, kailan mag-end ang program, kung magkano yung salary mo, kung saan ka titira, kung anong school, kung anong address, lahat-lahat nandito yan. So, might as well also read everything kung ano ang nasa DS 2019 and memorize kung maari kasi most of the questions are there in a pinatatanong sa inyo. And like I said, yung to your, to your um, home residency, uh, baka tanongin ka dyan. So, yes, talang sagutin mo. If the consul will ask you, are you aware of a to your um, home year residency? And you, you have to say yes. Na uuwi ka after the program. Okay, and... So, like I said, the DS 2019, memorize yan. At saka dito sa Know Your Rights na makukuha mo ang copy nito in the CFO. I hope that I was able to um, help kung sino may yung nag apply for J1 visa interview. Sana po na in this video nakakatulong po ako in sharing what are the possible question and answer during J1 visa interview.